Evening, friends. What do you say with bikini bar? I got babes, booze. We got everything a guy can need. Oh, oh man, I've always wanted to check one of these things out. What should we do? <laughs> Babes, booze, and bisexuals? Do you have those in there? <laughs> oh, they don't have the pole! Oh, hey, this one's on me. Something to remember Tokyo by. Thanks, Aniki! Are there shinies in here? Uh, I can't do anything! Whoa! Also, dang, those boots. I'd be tripping all over the place in those. Ooh, very big, uh... Whoa! Be <laughs> Beans, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Can we leave now? <laughs> How do I... I'm pressing everything. Nothing's happening. <laughs> that was great, Aniki. But I gotta say, I kind of dig the girls in Okinawa more. They're aggressive, domineering. That's the shit that gets my gears turning. Oh, you're a sub! <laughs> hey, sorry if this is kind of weird or whatever, but I love the show. You're great out there. Not surprising, knowing the town we're in. I bet you could even be on TV if you wanted. I really appreciate that. Maybe you could come see me again if you liked it that much. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Natsumi. Natsumi, huh? Pretty name. Wait, don't I know you from somewhere? Natsumi, Natsumi, Natsumi. Oh yeah, Natsumi Uesato. I remember you now. I'm Rikia. Rikia Shimabukuro. Shimabukuro. That ring a bell? We sat next to each other in the middle- Oh! Remember? Wait, you know her? She's an old friend, yeah. She disappeared after we graduated middle school, though. It's been, what, nine years now? Man, time flies. And hey, I know girls are supposed to change as they grow up, but holy shit. You're freaking gorgeous now! Who would have thought we'd end up bumping into each other like this all this way- all the way up here? I'm sorry, but I think you have the wrong person. Natsumi is just my stage name. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh. Ouch. Sorry, I guess I was getting a tiny bit carried away there. But I could have sworn I was right. It's totally fine. Anyway, uh, I should be getting ready for my next dance. Thanks again for stopping by my show. Oh! Wait, so Natsumi is her real name too? ハイビスカスのペンダント。やっぱりウエサとナツミじゃねえか。ほら、これ見てみろよ。俺も大事に持ってるハイビスカスのペンダント。<笑> oh! Oh, that's cute! Oh, she made those? Dang, she's like, she's really good at crafts. Sorry I'm not wearing, actually wearing the thing. Pendants aren't really my style, but I always have it with me in my wallet. Never go anywhere without it. Aw. Like, you might be able to, um, I don't know, I'm wondering if there's any, like, different ways you can bring the, carry that phone, or, like, uh, bleh, pff, carry that necklace around. Also, like, I'm guessing it's one of those not, like, Rikia sort of like, hey, I haven't seen you since middle school, what happened? And, oh my god, there was a song, um, I don't remember what it was. It was called What Would You Do, where it basically it had the same story where uh, I can't remember the full lyrics, but it's like a guy, the, a singer, he goes to a dance club and it's like he spots one of the dancers named, he's like, her name was Lonnie. She went to junior high with me. I said, what are you doing? What are you doing up there dancing for cash? It gets a whole lot changed since I seen you last. So maybe it's one of those situations where she's like, Shit, someone from middle school has found me here. I don't like- I don't want this kind of reunion right now. You could take it off the chain. Oh, yeah. Hey, unless- the, unless the pen- unless she also made the chain, too, then damn, she's really good. 
I... Come on, quit playing dumb. Tokyo didn't change you that much, did it? Deep down, we're still just two stupid kids from Okinawa. Right? Well, actually, Akiho. Truth is, I'm Natsumi's sister. My real name is Akiho. Is... I'm not sure if this is the same thing, or... Like, if she's telling the truth, or if she's... Like, me and Natsumi were twins, and... Or, like, um... Like, I'm like I, I actually am Natsumi, but I'm pretending to be a different name. But I don't remember Natsumi having a sister. Shouldn't I have at least heard of you? Not necessarily. Natsumi and I are f and I are a few years apart. I went to school in the mainland, so we were kind of distant at the time. Fish! Well, sure, but she never mentioned you. Really? Natsumi told me all about you, Shima Bukuro-san. What about that pendant? Why do you have it? Oh, Natsumi gave it to me. Huh? She just gave it away? People change, Rukia. You said it's been years since you've seen her, right? Maybe. But I hung onto mine all this time, so I always assumed Natsumi would do the same. Guess I was wrong. Here, I'll walk you two out. Let me get my stuff. Hey, I know this was kind of weird, Akiho-san, but I had fun tonight. I'll be back for sure. Oh, and uh, say hi to Natsumi for me, will you? Of course. I'm sure she'll be surprised to hear I ran into you, of all people. What are you up to nowadays, anyway? Well, I'm part of the Ryudo family. The Yakuza gig running downtown, remember? I'm actually their captain. Yakuza? I would have never pegged you for that kind of lifestyle, Rikiyaka. Well, there's a lot more to me than whatever Natsumi told you, I'm sure. Oh, and just call me Rikia, by the way. Here's my cell. Give me a line if you ever need help with something. Aniki. Oops! Hold on, Aniki. Looks like I got a call. Moshimoshi. What's going on, Akiho-san? Of course. You can tell me anything. A stalker? Where are you? That bastard's going down. Mm-hmm. Be there in a flash. I want to. I want to punch a stalker. Sorry, Aniki. Think we can help her out? She's down by the famous ramen shop. Of course. Let's go. Uh. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. That's far enough. Get away from me. But what about our wedding? You're gonna get married, Natsumi. Natsumi chan? Sorry for keeping you waiting, Akiho san. I'll handle this scumbag for you. I know, Honora. I saw you with affection. Give you gifts every day of the week. Even keep your bank account in the green. And this is what I get. I'm out of here. Women want me. Fish want me. Men <laughs> wanted me. I live in constant fear. Be careful out there, Akio-san. Who knows what kind of nut jobs you might run into these days. You're right. And thanks. I don't think I'll run into any more trouble, but I'll give you another call if I do. Bye. I like her boots. Oh, hey, another car! <laughs> More trouble? What? Another? Oh my god! I'll be right over. Sorry, Aniki. Think you can show me where the batting center is? Oh, that's a long ways away. Run faster! Nani? So much to do, so much to punch. There's a stalker in need of a bone crunch. <laughs> Get away from me, you pervert. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, Natsumi. I gave up everything for you. My business, my life, everything, huh? <laughs> hey, she told you to leave her alone. You got a problem? You can take it up with me. I dropped 20 mil on your ass and this is what I get! You're talking about the cash he spent at the club, yeah? And that's right when he the club! A true Disney employee! Knock the hell out of her face! I couldn't think of any other voice, I'm sorry. And he's gonna be pissed! Anyways, I should be going. Hopefully our next meeting isn't under such awful circumstances. Take two steps. Bring, bring! Hello! <laughs> Donald Duck is after me! Run faster! 
Damn it! Much, much, yeah. A scout this time? Got it. Be there in a flash. Hey, Aniki, you can't get your where your tower is! I'm starting to lose my patience for this. Hello? I'm warning you, I've got a bodyguard. Uh. Um. Don't be like that, babe. You need the pocket change, don't you? Well, I've got the perfect gig in mind for you, a cook! Come on, man. Can't you see she's not interested? Let me show you what happens when you don't leave innocent girls alone. <laughs> I'm trying to... The hell's, your, the hell's your problem, dude? Keep your paws out of other people's business, hey, Hook. Ugh, I'm out of here. Sad, Hook. <laughs> What's with all the trouble you keep running into? Maybe Carmen is just too dangerous for you. I mean, yeah, it's dangerous, but now I have my knight in shining armor here to take care of me. It's really nice having you around, Rikia. If you want Rik if you want to go out with Rikia, just ask him. You don't have to keep, like, I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay, let's pretend she has been hiring these dudes to sort of scare her to just bring Rikia around. If that's what she's... In that, certain, in that scenario, if that's what she was doing, then you could just talk to Rikia. Well, I want to help, but anyway, I've got to run. Drop by the club any again sometime. Dude, I think you're stuck. There he goes. <laughs> Rikia, doesn't this sort of feel like she's using you? <laughs> Akio-san, using me? You gotta get your head checked, Aniki. She'd never do that. I mean, I'm from Okinawa. She's from Okinawa. We're just looking out for each other. If you say so. Also, didn't she just say that she's, like, she's Natsumi's sister who is mainly in the mainla mainland? Still, something doesn't seem quite right to me. I have a feeling she'll be in trouble again before long. She probably hasn't gotten far, now that I think about it. Why don't we keep an eye on her and see what happens? Come on, we don't have to do that. Akio-san will ring me up if she's in trouble again. Beep, 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 beep. Help me! I sp I've broke a nail! Mm. Just pay up already. Didn't your mom ever teach you to give stuff back when you borrow it, girly? But I thought I had until next week. Mm. Technically you do. But you and me both know you're not going to have it by then. So, me and my boys thought we'd help you cover the different. I don't want to know how. <laughs> oh, nothing. Two stairs, just three teens. Fire. Fire! <laughs> but. Yeah, middle. Hey, assholes, get the hell away from my friend. Huh? Eh? And who the shit are you, Curly Q? Akio-san's bodyguard. I'm not gonna let you take advantage of her. So what? You want us to just clear her debt? Forget it ever happened? Sorry, pal. We're not leaving until we get our green back. She's the tattoo artist, isn't she? <laughs> Sorry, just... I don't know, my... The tattoo story and this story being connected? I've, maybe that's it. How much does she owe you? I make all stacked to the tune of five mil. <laughs> How you doing? It? What? But only far borrowed four mil. <sighs> Ever heard of interest, honey? If you can't handle the rules, don't play the game. There's no point following the rules when the game is rigged. Now get lost before I give you the old Rikia special. Like, if memory serves right, like, the original artist for Kiryu's tattoo, I think he was... He was training an apprentice, and I think, yeah, like the apprentice took over. Big mistake, pal. I just noticed his go these goons are red, white, and blue. Or technically red, blue, gray, or pink. Time to learn what happens when you don't mind your own fucking business. Damn it.
damn it. We're still coming for that money. Just you wait. <laughs> Sorry, Aniki. I didn't mean to get you wrapped up in all this. So you've been borrowing money from a loan shark, Akiho? Don't you know what happens when you get involved with thugs like that? I just don't understand. It was only 300 grand to start, but before I knew it, my dad had ballooned to 4 mil. Things have gotten- things have just gotten out of control. First they forced me to work at that bikini- They- They- You were- Sorry, just like- So, they for- uh, Oh. I'm so sorry. Like if- I was uh, this whole time I was under the assumption you were working at that at that bikini bar of your own free will. Akio san. I'm sorry, Rikia. I should never have gotten you mixed up in my money problems. Just go, okay? I'll figure this out on my own. Hey, don't take don't talk like that. I'm not going anywhere. Huh? I said I'd take care of you, right? What kind of guy would I be if I backed down when you were hurting the most? Rikia, think about this for a second. I don't want to hear it, Aniki. Me and those loan sharks are going to have a little chat. See, my old man left me his fishing boat down in Okinawa. All I've got to do is sell that off and I'll have all the cash you need. Dang, really? And once your debt's paid off, we can finally go home. You'll be able to start over. Akio-san. Rikia. Excuse me. And hey, that pendant will look loads better on you when it's glistening in the Okinawa sun. So, promise you'll come back with me? I promise. Alright, now first things first. Tracking down those loan sharks. You can't be serious about this, Rikia. Look, Aniki, I appreciate you trying to help or whatever, but this is my problem now. So just stay out of it. Stay out of it, yeah. I wanna help! Like, here you might not, but I do. <laughs> Keep tabs on that girl. I have a feeling there's more to this than meets the eye. I'll probably find her over by that bikini bar. We have to go back in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing like that. I told you, he's just my bodyguard. That... That's a pretty neat dress, like the black fade into into red. <laughs> Come on, girl. You, me, and every other bitch on the street knows you're using him. Hold on. Isn't that Akiho? But seriously, Natsumi. I'm like so jealous. How'd you get a brute like that doing your dirty work for you? Isn't it just the greatest? I was kind of shocked when he told me he was from Okinawa, but it turns out he's this guy Riki I used to sit next to in middle school. Wait, wait. so you are Natsumi! I think? He started going on and on with these old stories from when we were kids. Total snooze fit. Lady! But oh, get this! It turns out he's part of the Okinawa Yakuza! And not only that, but he's dumb as a rock! He'll believe any old sob story I tell him! Have you no shame? Haha, <laughs> yeah. What was that fake name you gave him again? Akiho or something? Where'd you even come up with that? Besides, wouldn't most guys know their best friend has a sister? Like, get a clue, dude. Are you really Are you really surprised? All those Yakuza thugs are all bronze and no brains. Natsumi needs a man like me who's got the whole package. Ain't that right, baby? Cutie waddles up right behind them. It's like... Like, hi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your whole package is the only thing you ever talk about. But I'll admit, I never would have come up with that plan on my own. It's thanks to you I'm going to be living debt-free. As for that package, did you get it from Amazon? <laughs> That's what happens when you hang with a man of ideas, sweetheart. It was a real stroke of genius, conning that Yakuza fool into paying off your loan. What would you do without me? My bank account would have a few less zeros in it, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm finally done owning your club for all the drinks I bought, which means I can start spending money on you again. Mm, and that's why I love you. What's going on here? Oh, um, uh, whoa, I'm actually a ghost. Akiho, or should I say Natsumi? Whichever it is, you've got some explaining to do. Come with me. Ah, she's not going anywhere, you old fuck. One gives you the right to just walk up and snack some other guy's girl. All I want to do is talk to her. But if you're looking for a fight, I'd be glad to oblige. I've, pu I've punched a lot of people. <laughs> Ugh. Hiroto. So Ricky was right all along. You really are not to me. 
Haven't you stopped to think about how he feels in all this? What's it to you? He said he'd do whatever I wanted, so I'm taking him up on the offer. Besides, it's none of your business. Hey. Like... Mm. I don't know, if it, were, if it were me, and Ricky was like, hey, I'll do anything to help you, I'd probably, even if he's offering, I'd still, like, I feel like, um, like, one, I don't want to, like, bother him, and two, I think it'd probably be, like, hurt my own pride in a way. Like, um, I should, like, I, like, I should be, slash, I want to handle this on my own. Like, I appreciate you wanting to help, but I need to do this, something like that. Enough excuses. Come with me. It's time you see just how far Ricky is willing to go for you. Ricky! <laughs> you got some real coconut. <laughs> coconut. Come in here alone, kid. You're either out of your damn mind or you're the bravest little shit in town. Please. I'll do whatever it takes to pay off Natsumi's debt. I'll have this fishing boat down in Okinawa that'll cover the cost. Just give me some time to sell it. Ricky, baby! Not to me. You mean the stripper who's always blowing her cash at host clubs? Hey, you do all that just for a piece of ass, kid. You're crazier than I thought. Please! You'll get all five mil, I promise! Eh, you're hurting my ears here, kid. How about we teach him a little lesson, boys? Or maybe sort of like, okay, kid, I don't know what's going on here, but I think that girl might have led you on, because, like, Maybe, like, she's not as... Like, she's kind of a jerk. Rikia. Look, Natsumi. These are the lengths he's willing to go to, to go to for you. Also, I'm just like, God. Hey, hey, Natsumi, you want... Look at this. You gonna go help him or not? So when you trick him like this, you aren't just playing with his emotions. You're playing with his life. I... Ricky is too earnest for his own good. When he says he'll risk his life for you, he means it. He would die if it meant keeping you safe. You're both from Okinawa, and as far as he knows, your family to his closest childhood friend. That's why he chose you to that's why he chose to trust you. But instead of but instead of accepting him for who he is, you betrayed that trust. Eh. Ricky, stop! Not not to me. What are you doing here? This is too dangerous for you. I'm I'm so sorry, Rikia. It's okay. I'm taking care of the money. You don't have to cry. <laughs> well, ain't this sweet. Now you two are not all nice and levy devy. How about we get a little boy on you? I have a better idea. Whatever camera equipment you have, I break it over your skulls. <laughs> you sick bastard. <gasps> What'd you call me? You got a death wish, punk? Well, you came to the right guy. Like, the idea you had of just recording them doing it. Sick bastard is pretty accurate. Rikia, I'd be glad to lend a hand or two if you want to teach these thugs a lesson. I was hoping you'd say that, Aniki. The fuck are you two blabbing about? Murder? <laughs> Sorry, but you just picked a fight with the wrong guy. I'm, Rimi I'm Rikia Shimabukuro, captain of the Ryudo family. And once I'm through with you, you'll wish you'd never been born. I'm from Ryudo, and I'm gonna feudo you up! それも知ってたよ。俺がお前を間違えるわけないだろうが。ごめんなさい。ごめんなさい。もういいんだ。お前に東京は似合わねえ。俺と一緒に沖縄に帰ろう。<笑><笑> Not just yeah, we have stuff to do, unfortunately. 
キリュウの兄貴と一緒にこっちでやることがあるからそれが全て済んだら迎えに来るから。Rikia, when did you figure out, figure out that was really not to me? Well, back when I was first handing her the pendant, I noticed a scar on her right palm. And that's how you knew? Oh, dang. Yep, it's from back when we were kids. She cut her hand on a piece of coral while we were out swimming together. I had to bring her to the hospital and everything. Oh, dang, what kind of coral? I don't think I gotta tell you that those kind of scars don't really go away. So when I saw it there on her hand, I instantly knew it was not to me. <laughs> You're more perceptive than you look, Rikia. So, how about a drink? I think you can both unwind a bit after that. Though, Adam c u r i e Okay, I probably missed something here, but if he knew this whole time, why did he play along? Like, unless it was one of those, um... Like, there's a, there might be a reason she, she doesn't want to tell me the truth, so okay, I'll play along until she's comfortable. I'm down if you're down. Lead the way, Aniki. I make them good girls go bad. Divine Dragon? What kind of shop is this? It's a tattoo parlor. Seriously? You're telling me there's a tattoo artist holed up in there? Yeah, Master Utabori. He's the one, he's the one who takes care of the tattoo on my back. Mm. Whoa. You guys gotta be legendary if you did your dragon. Hmm. You starstruck? Now you think about it, tattoos fade after a while? Because, uh. Something I'm still surprised by is like, I was under the impression that once you get tattoos, they're permanent and they look that way forever, but the whole idea of like having to go back in and I guess redo it or I guess make the colors a bit stronger again, it's kind of surprising to me. Starstruck? No, it's just my fight purse is not finished. So I was thinking maybe, you know, I get it. You want me to ask M Master Utabori if he'll finish it up for you? <laughs> Would you? I'd be honored to get work done by the same guy who worked on you, Aniki. Also, I remember in Yakuza Zero, there were cats hanging around here. Where are they? Follow me. Master Utabori, sorry to intrude. Ooh. Cute to you? What brings you here? I was wondering if you'd work on a tattoo for my friend here. <laughs> like, his name is Rikia. A friend, hmm? Interesting. His artist passed away before he could get his tattoo finished. So we were hoping your needle might be the one for the job. I'm sorry, but you'll need to find someone else if that's what you want. I can't add to another artist's work. But... Listen well, k i r i u A tattoo changes a man's life. You know that better than anyone. The creator and the receiver must both be prepared to bear the lifelong responsibilities that tattoo brings. I'm starting to- now I'm curious like what this guy's perspective would be on people who get tattoos for fun. Like, I know at some point in my life I would like to get, I don't know, it's either like a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure tattoo, like the star on my shoulder, or maybe a Millennium Puzzle on my arm. So, like, if you like, if u t a b o r d i learned that there were people who got tattoos for, I guess, things they're passionate about instead of for Yakuza-related reasons, how would he take that? Aside from just growing and changing, then oh, so oh, so the skin shedding—that's why. So I'm sorry, but the answer must be no. Call me a stubborn old man if you wish, but this is something I won't compromise on. Okay, we'll find someone else. Huh? Hey, hold on a sec. You're just gonna refuse before you even see the damn thing? You're not an artist, you're a cow- uh, r i c k y this might not be a good idea. r i k i a that's enough. Sorry, Aniki, but I can't let this go. That viper is the soul of Okinawa. How can he talk like that if he won't even look at my tattoo? I admire your spirit, boy, but don't presume to lecture me on my own trade. Fine then, I'll just show you. Take a look at this! Whee! It sucks! <laughs> What if he says that? Oh no, that face. Kiryu, this boy has quite the fire in his belly. How do I tell him his tattoo sucks? 
Oh, it's a fine work, yes. Not only does this technique impress, but I can tell the original artist truly cared about both you and this tattoo. <laughs> can you rip some, rips his shirt off? Damn right he did. So what do you say? You're gonna finish the job for me? No. Please forgive me. I'm afraid I just can't do it. Huh? Why not? Your artist did an exquisite job on this piece. There's no doubt about that. But as I said, both the tattoo's creator and receiver must be prepared to bear the responsibility it brings. <sighs> uh, not this crap again. I don't know you. I don't know your ambitions. And I don't know why you've chosen to carry that tattoo. As long as those things remain a mystery to me, I cannot do what you ask. <sighs> Stubborn old shit. Watch it, Ricky. My apologies, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave now. Great. Sorry barged in on you like this. Come on, Rikia. Let's go. I just imagined Riki like, you know what? Screw it. No, I'm not leaving. I'm going to give you my whole autobiography. It'll be a thousand pages with tell, like, single spaced front to back. No margins. <laughs> I can't agree talking about sharing is carrying. I'm about to share these hands. <laughs> uh. That all you got? I was expecting you big city boys to put up more of a fight. Th thank you. Heh, <laughs> it was nothing. Now get out of here, okay? And next time, lay off the booze. Oh, we will. I'm never drinking again. Mark my words. Come on, honey. Let's go. Two minutes later, let's go to a bar. <laughs> I see you hung my boys out to dry. Good. They deserve a nice ass whooping for starting shit where everyone can see them. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who am I? Me? Heh. <laughs> you ain't from around here, are you? There's not a soul in Kamurocho who doesn't know the name Hyoe Muroto. I don't know you! Everybody get naked! <laughs> it, whoa. That's... Um... Let's go, Aniki. I don't have any trouble with the I know there's symbolism in everyone's tattoos, but what could the, what, what all the symbolism is for that guy? The eyes. <laughs> You forgot your jacket! Master Utoporti? What is it? Your name is Rikia, yes? Why didn't you show me your tattoo? What? To a two-bit thug like that? He doesn't deserve the honor. No way he'd appreciate it. Besides, this viper is not some kind of tool to threaten bullshit punks with. It's the spirit of Okinawa, etched on my back. Then now I ask, why didn't you hit him? What would have been the point? That guy wasn't worth the effort. <laughs> I see. You're a fascinating one. What's that supposed to mean? Come with me. I'll finish that viper for you. Also, I get. I have a. I imagine the eyes. Maybe Utabori is gonna give the viper, like, Rikia's eyes. You will? But why? Because I've come to understand your character. Do you need more reason than that, boy? <laughs> hey, I'm not complaining. Let's get that needle moving. Can we get him something to bite on? Because that looks painful. Magic man. どんな運命だろうが丸呑みにして食らい尽くしてやるよ。よし、完成じゃ。Ooh. 
どうすか兄貴さすがは先生惚れ惚れする敵だバイレンス兄貴と同じ歌彫りの入れ墨かこれで名実ともに兄弟分になったってことですね<笑>そうだな We're ink bros Call Splatoon, we got some new ink boys. <laughs> oh, the mad. Majima, 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 Majima. Soka. Wagata. Goro. Do you are a Kanzano Kumina, young diamond, catch Kumi Kakarotarashi? He's not dead. So the Kumino Josova, Kamet Jota. His head. Bashed against the floor. Tata story the Kanda to Yariato, a Sasanadana. Dojima no Ryu no Nava, just a rapid meal. Do you a Kiryu san or Reno, Okinano, Kende, Uguitrioda? Antega, Konoke, Kabin, no true to you, Joe Hotz Kande, Yukamashire. That is one flashy lighter. そうなら次にキリュウが攻め込むのはあんたのところだ。沖縄のリゾート計画、あんたに紹介したのはこの俺だ。You think? リゾート建設に関わる利権、あんたの組に入る金は千億はくだらない。今俺らの中で六代目を弾いた可能性が高いのは間違いなくあんた。One of the key suspects。マジマの兄さん。マジマ、he looks he looks so dead inside。この手を手に収めたい。それがどういう意味かわかりますよね。マジ。I just want to give him a hug. I just want to give him a hug. You realize you're talking to Majima, right? He can make someone else's head roll, maybe yours. Kiri, I've got a lot of information about you. Today's news. That was fat. It's already in the newspapers. I'm from the school of the police. 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 民事党と沖縄県議会をまとめたようなんですつまり基地拡大法案の成立は確実ってことか Shit. 基地とリゾートはもともとワンセット基地が動き出したことでリゾートの開発も一緒に動き出したってわけだなこれでどうしてリゾート開発が再開されたのかが分かりましたねところで桐生このリゾート開発裏でとんでもねえやつが絡んでるようなんだ。Tell me! 政治部の記者宛てに届いた情報です。匿名の情報筋からこんな写真が。And on... It's Majima, isn't it? <笑>これは。どうやら、気が仕掛けているリゾート開発。裏で建設の利権を得ようとしていたのが、あのマジマ組らしいんだ。So much of a construction still a thing, but doing the wrong thing. <laughs> Can we at least get Ricky a, like a blanket or move him to one of the couches there? It has to be more comfortable than sitting in the chair. Oh, is that the guy I ran into? You look like a good guy. Lend me a hand. What's going on? My granny's coming up from the sticks. Is 
I feel bad. Is that slang for coming to town? I kind of told her I was a company president here in Camarocho, which is kind of not true. <laughs> so I'm begging you, please. Pretend you work for me so I can keep up the lie. Why? Why should I have to do that? Sir, okay. yeah, like... One, that's a pretty big-ass lie, and two, how are you able to keep keep up with it? Like, I feel like if you- I feel like if you're telling someone that you're a president of a big company when you aren't, they're gonna go like, Ooh, what company? What kind of- what are your stocks? What's your products? And then it's like, oh shit, um... About to be dead souls? Is it? Maybe? <laughs> Granny's getting frail and was in a bad place for a while there. I thought I'd cheer her up by telling her I was a big corporate hotshot. Like... Okay, I guess I can kind of understand that, but I don't know why. Like white lies, not probably not the good time for that. <laughs> I've been nothing but trouble since I was a little kid, so hearing I'd become an upstanding member of society thrilled her to no end. Now she's out of the hospital and on her way here to see how I've been doing. Is stick slang for hospital? But if she found out I was lying, I get where you're coming from, but you should just be honest with her. <laughs> Yeah, I know. But I think there are times where a lie is justified. Necessary, even. Eh. Like, okay, I don't know, like, lies overall. I feel like honesty should be key. Maybe, I don't know, like, there's white, I feel like white lies are in that gray area. I prefer not to do white lies, but then the situation comes up, it's like, um. Ah, like, I know one for one example, it's like, um, Hey dude, look at this drawing I did, isn't it pretty? Um, it's great! And in reality, it's like maybe a drawing of something that really shouldn't be shared. So please, back me up on this! For my granny's sake! Well, if you're that dead set on the idea, we'll have to make sure your lie is airtight. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm ready to take anything she throws at me! Like a barrel! Or a pan! So what do you say? Free XP? <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to somebody, Granny. This here's my employee, Mr... Kazuma Kiryu. I work for the president. Ah. ah, my! Masahiko must certainly keep you busy. Masahiko? <laughs> hey, what's wrong with you, Kiryu-kun? Forgot my first name, eh? Ah, ha, ha. You didn't even tell me it! Yeah. You could have told me. I'm, Masa. I'm Masahiko's grandmother, Chizu. You'll be giving me a tour of the Kamurocho today, hmm? How exciting. <sighs> but, my goodness. Don't businessmen wear ties these, day these days? Oh shit, um, it's casual, it's casual Friday. We try not to use AC, our present hates times, I had no time to change. Um. Uh. Okay, I don't want to go with the second one, because I'd be saying it without, like, warning the, uh, Masahiko about it. We try not to use AC, that fe seems kind of questionable, or I had no time to change. We try not to use the AC, seems kind of a terrible business practice. How about... Well, he asked me kind of out of the blue- No, that's worse! I have no time to change! Asked you. Why would you change your clothes? Oh shit! <laughs> they tire me out. Hold on. I hope you could hear that. <laughs> How about you show me around the office then? I'd love to meet all of your employees. Mm. Well, about that. Um, cute you could. Why are you turning to me? They have a day out today. It's off limits to an accident. Authorized personnel only. Uh, eh. I feel like authorized personnel might be the most believable. I just hope Masahiko thinks it's good. <laughs> I'm afraid the building is open to authorized personnel only. Eh? Authorized personnel? But isn't Masahiko's company in there? He's authorized to shit! <laughs> he is your not! <laughs> Say, Granny, you must be hungry. 
Why don't we go to my favorite Yakiniku place? Eh. Yes, yes, why not? Go ahead and show me the way, sweetie. This is not going well. <laughs> ha! Imagine, <clears throat> imagine running into you in a place like this. You got that hundred grand ready? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I just imagine Granny's, like, turns out she's super strong and buff and she kicks his ass. What's going on? I borrowed 80 thou from this loan shark when I lost money on the horses the other day. You, you bet on horse races? Can't you just make something up so he'll leave us alone? Please? <laughs> um... Uh. <laughs> uh. Shh. Okay. Um. Make the punk pay. I feel like one hand it will make Granny go. Wait. Company presses don't do this. Either that or. Oh wow. My my son hires really good, really capable workers. I'll pay the hundred thousand. It's like it. I don't know. It could be like, oh, the man. Oh, that that creep was going after Kier to you here, or wait, Basahiko, why'd you make that? Why'd you make your coworker pay that money? And I, th I feel like make something up would just cause more. Would just start a fight. <laughs> mm. Pay the hundred, pay the hundred thousand yen. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, come on. I'm going to do the the D and D thing again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna roll a D D twenty odd number. Pay the hundred thousand yen. Even number. Make the punk pay because I really don't want to do the middle option. Okay, seventeen. Pay the hundred thousand. I've got. I guess I've got money to burn. So. We're in the middle of something here. Take this and leave us alone. <laughs> Let's see here. Yep, that makes hundred thousand. Thank you kindly. Eh? What's this? Are you borrowing money? You know that'll bring you nothing but trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd live to stay the day to see my Masahiko treat me to a meal. <laughs> what are you talking about, Granny? This won't be the last time the grub will be on me. But, you know, it's not nice to lie. She knows! Huh? <laughs> I've known all along you were no company president. Kind of reminds me of um, something that me and my uh, brother have recently learned. Uh, I won't go into specifics, but there's been some, like, there was a little bit of family drama at some point, and we both learned that um, parents slash elders... Don't underestimate how sharp they are. You don't have to be a big shot CEO for me, Masahiko. Just live an honest life and a happy one. That's good enough for your old granny. <laughs> granny, I... I think my job is done here. Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san, thank you for helping me today. Arigato ne. I really did enjoy myself. Here, won't you take this? It's a souvenir from my hometown. Sushi! Wait. An edible souvenir. This is yours too. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> Who it is? Nah. Oh, otherwise known as Purgatory. Lots of homeless folk lived there up until recently, myself included. And then we were all kicked out by Maji. Maji, but you seriously kicked them out? You didn't hire them? I thought the construction of Kamarojo Hills was cancelled. Uh, That's right. I thought maybe I could move back inside, so I snuck into the park. But there's no one there. 
No one? Well, I definitely wouldn't stick around. Too spooky. It's a ghost town in there? Okay, hopefully I don't screw this up. I think it's a specific kind of toy for adults. Oh! <laughs> 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 please, 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 please. I don't think I got it. Fuck! No! <laughs> Uh, um, 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 eh? Oh, I think that means I did good. Yes. Yay! Sorry, Grandpa. I had to get your knee busted twice. I never had anyone to demand presents from when I was young, so seeing kids innocently ask for things honestly makes me a bit jealous. But these toys are definitely not the kind for a child. This revelation didn't come from the dad, but from the raging kid. My condolences to his father. Oh, never mind. Dad, I broke your leg twice. Never mind. I feel obligated to warn you there's been an uptick in bag robberies these last few months. Particularly high-end ones. Even some of our customers have had their goods snatched away from them. They just rob people in broad daylight? You'd be surprised. Indeed. Apparently there's a syndicate running the streets. One or two members were caught, but crime is still out of control. I won't feel safe selling our luxury goods until the whole ring is brought to justice. So there's a group of bag snatchers operating in this, in this area. <clears throat> Please take me seriously on this, sir. And if you happen to purchase something, please be very cautious on your way home. On a lighter note, what might you be interested in today? Hey. Okay, quick water break. <laughs> you lost your monogram bag. Keep it! I only bought it for the side quest. That kid's got some legs on him. He went down Pink Street, but which way did you turn? <laughs> That was the thief everyone's complaining about. Why didn't you chase after him? Go get my bag from that jerk. <laughs> Underwater bag that. Bingo. <sighs> Check it out, boss. These things are real pricey one today. Nice work, little man. Now we can- Hey, who the hell are you? I came to take back what's mine. What the shit, little man? I trusted you with the business, and you bring back this big fuck? He must have followed me, man. I thought I lost him. I might be getting old, but you can't lose me that easy. Unfucking believable How many times have I told you to take the long route when someone's chasing you? <laughs> For s Sorry, this feels like a- the way they're talking, it feel I feel like it's some sort of Team Rocket thing going on where- it's like they think they're they're gonna become big named criminals, but really they're just doofs. So you're the head of this little syndicate? Heh. <laughs> Damn right. Hostesses go nuts over these bags as well. The bags they sell. We give the Um We give Da either I'm not sure if he would say, like, da hoes, or we give the hoes what they want and they give us what we need. Player's life, baby. I sure hope I, they give us what we need. You mean they let us play Smash Bros with them? Bam! You said it, bro! We get all the hoes we want. 
if you're looking for a hose, just come to my Stardew Valley farm. I've got, I got like, I got like hose for tilling the, tilling the dirt. Like the lady said, go to the gardening section for hose. Damn it. Ugh, the player's life. Still haven't learned your lesson. No, we have. Please, take this. We don't need it no more. Wait, did you take two bags? Take this too. Just please, don't hit us no more. Caviar skin? Eh. I think it belongs to that, to those, I think it belongs to that lady from earlier, but caviar like fish skin we were gonna use to get the hottest chicks at the club if you want chicks go to a farm help with help them raise chickens clean up your acts if you want the intention of good women start by acting like good men experience <laughs> also there's something else i'm curious about but i'm not sure how it's gonna go <laughs> okay, this. I kept seeing it and I was curious, but it's weird in a weird way. Oh boy. Mini game where you mash buttons to keep the gauge from going past the top or the bottom. If it does, you lose the game. Gauge is divided to five. The higher the gauge, the more points. Go for the most points possible, keeping the gauge as high as you can without letting it go past the top or bottom. If you make it to the end without letting the gauge go back, go past the top or bottom, the finish gauge appears on the center of the screen. You win if you fill up this gauge before time runs out. out. Now the gauge is harder to fill if you scored too, too few points earlier. Oh no, is this going to be like the fishing minigame in Stardew Valley, but with body <laughs> bodies? Standards 5,000, oil and ear clean. Okay, the ear cleaning thing is not um, it's not too surprising. I know growing up my mom had to would clean out clean out my ears with this stick thing which I as far as I know it's just not that common among I guess Americans or white Americans at least, but for like Asian Americans it was kind of the norm, well for me at least. A stick. It was, yeah. It was, it's like a very thin. Uh, how do I describe it? It's not really a stick. Stick. It kind of looks like it, but it's like a. Uh, um, imagine a very. Imagine like a wooden spoon, but a lot smaller, and the scoopy bit is like ten times smaller as well. Uh, actually, uh, hold on. Can I? Sorry. I'm just... I don't know if I can, uh, hold on, I've got an idea. Like, the spoon, it kind of looks like a spoon, sort of like this. And then the scoopy end is like, yay big. Like this is, like this part is where you, you would stick in some, stick in someone's ear and clean out, clean it out. And the one that my mom used, it had like a little ring on the, on the end. It's like you could, like you could carry it around. Sorry about that. I hope I hope that helped. I have I seen you before? My name is Ayaka Suvaki, and I'll be your massage therapist for the session. I look forward to working with you today. Finish, finish your A, finish your B. Pray for me. Why is he dropping? Oh, I had to press it. You're like totally exhausted. You're sure you fe you're feeling okay? I mean, you fell asleep right in the middle of massage. Wait, so I had to start mashing. Can, we, can I try that again? <laughs> hey, B! Shit! What happened? Next time, try to relax a little more. You'll never make it to the end of it. Stay all tensed up like that. 
I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I tried my best.